what is up everybody welcome back to my channel today i am so excited to finally share this video with y'all it has been long overdue i'm going to show you my transformation of our 20 year old camper that we bought for a really great deal and decided to fix it up so if you are interested then keep on watching it's on amazon they were ten dollars a panel <laughs> And then I bought this bag of clips. It was $25 for $5. So, um, I guess I could have gone with white. It's kind of bothering me. I really thought it wouldn't matter. Um. Okay, so for the kitchen, like the dinette, um, I'm so sweaty, y'all. For this, I bought these elastic covers off of Amazon. I will link them. I found them in different sizes because I have smaller and then larger cushions. This is definitely an area where you could save money. Um, I just ended up buying these because it's easier with kids to be able to take these off and wash them but you could save money by buying fabric and like redoing them for yourselves for sure so i'm gonna try to wrap all of these and hopefully i have enough in all the right sizes Okay, so since filming this part, we have been camping about three or four times, and I will hands down tell you that this is the best purchase for my camper because if you have kids, you know that kids get everything dirty. What I love about this is whenever we get home from camping, I can just take these off, throw them in the washer, let them air dry, and then put them right back on, and we're ready to go for the next camping trip. I did buy two different sizes because you can see these cushions are way bigger than my other ones, so I will link both variations in the description box off of Amazon. They really weren't even that expensive. I think it was like $20 for a two pack. Kind of ran into a dilemma where I can't find a cushion to fit the big one. So I'm oh, going to have to brainstorm.
Okay, so somehow I got them all to fit. I just had to make it stretch, but I'm gonna return these because it's a different color and get the other ones. So all turned out really, really good. Like, oh, and mom. Super soft, gonna be easy to clean. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is cover my table with contact paper. I've gone back and forth about painting it or contact paper, and I honestly think that this is just gonna be the easiest. We're not gonna be doing a lot of eating in here. That's gonna be outside, and if it messes up, I can just peel it off and redo it. I already had this, I actually got it at Walmart. I was thinking about doing a different pattern, but I don't wanna spend any more money buying any because I already have this. And just for like fun, I'm gonna be putting it here too. Okay, I've ran into a problem. I actually don't have enough contact paper. So, I'm just gonna do the contact paper on the door. I don't even have enough to cover all of the table. Um, and then I guess I'm gonna try to paint. Okay, so if you have never done contact paper before, it's very easy. I'm just taking like a credit card that's old and I'm just smoothing out the air bubbles as I stick it on and then with a razor blade, I'm cutting off the edges that stick off. And if it sticks and then it's not right, you can just like unstick it and redo it. It's really, really great and like all of those bubbles you can see, you just have to push out to the edge with um, the credit card. So, highly recommend it. It was really easy and simple. Alright y'all, it was really easy actually. Doesn't really match right now, but I think once I get the cabinets and everything done, it's gonna work out. Okay, so now moving on to the table that needs a little bit of a makeover, but it's still in really great shape. I'm taking crud cutter, which is like a degreaser, and I just wiped off the top of the table. And now I'm taking a primer for the table just because to try to help it like hold up longer. And once the primer dries, I will move on to painting it. I did one 
coat of primer after I started painting I realized I probably should have sanded it first but it's okay like I said I'm gonna paint it green and it's not really gonna be a place where we eat unless it's like raining um, it's mostly just gonna be an area to like play games like card games and stuff like that so um, I'm gonna paint it green it's called Coastal Plain. It's actually the color that's in my son's room. And I'm really just painting it green because I don't wanna spend money and go buy more paint. So I'm just using what I have. And then I think I'm gonna spray paint the legs black. What do y'all think? I think that that would be easy. Or like a bronze, like a black bronze, something cheap. Um, and then the table's gonna be done. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna probably do like two coats of paint and we're done. Okay, so once the top was dry, I laid it in the grass, um, and this is just good old black spray paint from the Dollar General. <laughs> Nothing crazy. I didn't pay for like any type of special spray paint. This is just the cheapest stuff out there. And I can like say that it still has held up really good and I would not spend a lot of money on a fancy spray paint. So I ended up using about two bottles and each bottle was like four or five bucks. So it was really cheap and I already had the primer and I already had um, the green paint. So for this little project, it was super cheap and I'm very proud of it. So once I let the first coat of green dry, I did another coat and this is the next day. I am now doing a clear coat of like polyurethane and this is just to help seal the table. You may not have to do this, but I chose to do this just because I have little kids and they scratch and ruin everything. So this is just to try to keep it, um, like, you know, help it to be more durable and last longer so I already need to touch up the table because my daughter took sharpie to it <laughs> all right this is the primer I'm using I'm gonna do three coats it barely takes anything um, it's basically just gonna make it like more durable and I think I'm gonna use this in the camper too So now it is time for the biggest project of the camper and it's to paint the cabinets. So what I'm doing right now is priming the camper. You really need to prime the camper, especially like if you're going to do white because you would waste a lot of time on white paint and this is going to help you not have to do that. So primer basically like helps with scratching and durability and the paint holding up so i'm just doing one 
maybe even do two coats of primer in the camper and that's all we did I even have my husband helping me here because I got tired of painting and it was just really hard to find time to paint so just because I was watching the baby so after you do all of the primer then we will move on to paint You're all he wants and it's midnight oh, I'm thinking about him I have got him on my mind But he doesn't know my name And I'm running out of time I wish you felt the same And I'm acting stupid like every day Don't know what to do or what I should say Yesterday, my husband came in here and did a coat of primer, and it looked really good. It, I let it dry like overnight. Today, I don't have any time to paint, but I did get new curtains. So these match so much better. Same ones that I did put up, but I am returning those, and I bought the white ones instead. So I'm gonna clip those up really quick. All right, there we go. Much more cleaner and brighter looking for the curtains. Okay, so I lied to y'all earlier and I only did one coat of primer just because I was lazy and honestly, it's been fine. So. Now I'm doing chalk paint. That's what I ended up going with. And some people say you don't have to use primer before chalk paint, but I just did in case I went with white. So let's talk about color options. I love the way the white looks, but if I could go back, I would probably have chosen something different from white because you're gonna get it dirty. You know, camping is not like the cleanest activity, um, but I will say, that a magic eraser does a lot and that all of the dirt and stains that have gotten on the cabinets I'm able to get off but you know I wanted the camper to feel light and bright and just kind of like I wanted light colors because I wanted it to feel bigger I didn't want to do dark colors and I really wanted those gray cushions the cushions didn't have any other color besides beige and so 
I was just trying to go with colors that would all go together. So I did go with white. However, sometimes I wish I would have picked a different color, but it still looks pretty, right? <laughs> so um, just keep that in mind whenever you are choosing a color. I will link the color and like the paint that I bought down below. It is from Amazon and one jar, like I didn't even use one jar. That's like how thick um, and long lasting like the paint is. So just keep that in mind whenever you're trying to choose like paint for your camper because white can definitely get really dirty. While I'm painting, I also will say that um, I didn't tape anything off because my plan is to cover the floor and I didn't paint off the countertops because I'm going to be covering those as well. So I did, like I was a little bit sloppier with the paint, um, but if you are going to keep your countertops the way they are or keep the floor, then I would definitely tape them off to save you some time afterwards. This part of the camper is definitely a part that's going to be hidden by cushions so if you did not want to paint this part you could probably be fine and like get away with it but I did because it was going to drive me bonkers if I did not paint it <laughs> but if you're somebody that can like be okay and not as um, anal about things then definitely save yourself some time but it didn't take me long. The good thing about chalk paint is that it is a thicker type of paint than regular paint in my opinion. And so it goes on really fast. I could have rolled it, but I just thought that a brush would be a thicker application and so it would save me some time. I mean, it's so much thicker looking than the primer, which was rolled on um, and it went by really, really fast. I didn't cover the outlet. I just kind of went around it um, just the best that I could. Okay guys, so yesterday I was able to do one whole entire coat of chalk paint on the cabinets and it turned out really, really well. But today I'm not able to get in my camper and paint alone. I have several kids home with me today and that's just really hard to do. Um, so the plan today is to start painting the cabinet doors and the hinges. I was planning on spray painting black, like the hardware and things like that. So I have, uh, let's see, all of the stuff right there in that lawn chair. 
and that's what I'm gonna try to do today in my carport just because it's easier for me to keep an eye on my children. My baby is napping right now, so I've gotta move quickly. So the plan for the cabinets, um, I'm gonna sand it a little bit just because I feel like they're gonna get around the knobs, it's gonna get used more. Then I'm gonna prime it just like I did in the camper. Um, and then like some of these metal knobs I was able to take off inside the camper. I'm gonna spray paint these black, but it's got some dried paint on it. So I'm gonna have to sand some of this off. Um, that's the plan today, hardware and primer. And then maybe later I can do actual paint on the cabinets. Tomorrow I'm planning on finishing the painting completely. And then maybe this weekend I can do the clear coat on top. And then it's just really like putting like a little bit of stuff together here and there. On Amazon I did order some contact paper and some floor. I don't know, I'm probably just gonna do that actually when we're camping. Um, but the goal is to try to do all of the painting before we go camping and we go camping in six days. Okay, so this is like the little leg pole that goes on this part of the bench and I'm just trying my best to uh, spray paint it to match it black like the other poles that I found.
Okay, so it may be a bad decision in the end, but I just decided that we're not gonna do a clear coat on top of the chalk paint. It's actually really durable, and if it gets scratched up, like, I'm willing to do touch-up paint. It's not that big a deal. But I wanted to update y'all. I bought these mattress pads. They're super comfy. Um, just to be able to make it a little comfier, and then I bought these covers, whatever they're called, mattress covers. And then I got some sheets. They are gray, I will link them. And then how cute are these? All right, so I got these really cute, kind of like boho curtains. They're kind of see-through. Um, I went with black, but I went with these because I'm going to put them right here so that if the baby's napping, we can close it. I know that it's see-through, um, but it's gonna allow some air to get through the curtains because whenever you close these sections off, it gets really hot in here. Um, but I thought that these were really cute. I'm gonna try to hang them up with the shower curtain rod. So the next thing I'm gonna do is cover the countertops with this contact paper that looks like butcher block. I just tried it out on one section and it was really easy. I'll show y'all right here. It's just like a sticker. It's really easy. So I'm gonna try another section and I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. Okay, so this stuff is really heavy duty. Um, basically, all you're gonna do is lay this out and try to measure each section. I'm going to do this long ways like or actually the width i'm not going to do it long i'm going to do it this way and all you do is like peel the back and press it down and then cut it with a box cutter i got this picture in my closet it's gathering dust right now and the edges have been folded once or twice Doesn't look the same no more Cause the sun has made it pale I used to have it hanging on my wall Some time ago A picture of you You're standing by that window If I close my eyes, I can almost hear your song. A picture of you. A picture of you. And I picture of you I could talk to you for hours and we stay up all night and when morning came we made breakfast in bed I don't know why I threw away the word we had what's wrong with me I don't know why I threw Spin. 
that's it super easy now this is gonna be the hard part so I'm gonna have to brainstorm all right guys we are camping and I'm doing the floor um, I did not have time to do it at my house but this is what the campers looking like right now it looks so much better right um I'm gonna show you all how to do the floor today um, I've been learning as I go and the first thing you're gonna want to do is clean the floor I've just been using crud cutter and an old towel spraying and wiping and then you're gonna do peel and stick floor the peel and stick floor that I bought is from Amazon it's really cheap It looks like this, it's only $12. I will link it down below. And so far, it's really good quality and it's really sturdy. I really like it a lot. The only thing I would say is that you do have to make sure you line up the lines when you are sticking tile and it would be so much easier to just do like wood that doesn't have lines. So that's the only hard part. This is what I have done so far. It's so cute, um, but what I'm gonna do really quick, it would be easier to do this all at one time, but I've been doing it while we're camping because it's hard for me to carve out time to do it. So that's just kind of the reality of it, but I'm going to clean this off, and what I'm doing right now is sticking down as many whole pieces as I can, and then I will take my box cutter that's all you need and then I will do the pieces that need to be cut and that's it All right, so it is really easy to clean, like super, super easy. Um, you do have to press down a little bit. Like, I don't know if these were kind of bent in the box, but you're gonna have to use your body weight to just like press on them. The other ones weren't like that. But like you can see, there's like stains right there. They're really easy to clean. So I'm gonna try to go this way now. Okay guys, I don't even know where I last left on this camper remodel, but basically I am redoing the floor because the peel and stick tile that I tried, I actually put it down in like November and it's January and I only did half of it. Well, now I took it all up because it did not hold up like I wanted it to. Actually, so depressing because it was cute, but I'm glad that I didn't put it all down because that would have been a waste of time. So basically, some, some like tiles were sticking well and some weren't and I don't know what happened um, as to why some were sticking well and some weren't. But I've changed my mind on what I'm doing. <sighs> I'm gonna paint the floor. Yesterday I came out here and I sprayed Goo Gone everywhere because of the floor and it's helping to get like the, the extra like glue it's coming off really well. So it literally sat here for like 24 hours. I'm gonna spray the crud cutter and get the floor clean. 
I'm probably gonna mop it, mop it. And then I'm gonna paint it with Rust-Oleum floor paint that I bought for tile and uh, linoleum. Okay, here's a little hack if you didn't know. You take like a Swiffer mop and then a rag. This is like a microfiber towel. And then you just like push it in to keep it tight. And then I'm I'm not even really gonna mop. I'm just gonna spray this crud cutter on the ground and then mop it up. Okay, so here we are. This is the paint I'm using. I got it off of Amazon. There's several different colors. I went with aged gray because it wasn't super light and it wasn't super dark. This is like the medium gray color. Um, this is for tile, vinyl, wood, and more. So I am going to go around the edges with a brush and then I do have a roller. I'm gonna try to roll. I think two coats will be enough. This is step one, there is a step two, but I have so many cans of like clear coat that I didn't buy step two. I'm just gonna use what I have and then that's gonna be it. And then this camper remodel is done. <laughs> Okay, so my thoughts right now is that this is really nice. I like it. I'm just doing the whole entire top coat with the brush and my second one I will probably do with the roller, but like I really like the gray, but I feel like it's making the white look dirty. I feel like the gray makes the white look dirty. So I have a lot of touching up to do but this is going like really, really fast. All right, we got one coat. We're gonna let this dry, and then I think two is gonna be enough, and then I just have to touch up the white paint. Okay, y'all, here is the final look at the camper. I don't have the bedding on, but I just popped it up for y'all to be able to take a look. I loved everything. The only thing I might do in the future is paint the countertops for the sink, but I loved it, and I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope that y'all enjoyed this, too. I will link everything down below in the description box, everything that I bought, where I got it from, how much I spent. I tried to keep this really on a budget, but I hope that y'all enjoy this and I will see you on my next video. Bye everybody.